We are compassionate and peaceful people. We are non-violent people who are going to achieve our aims through non-violence. One of the longest running animal rights campaigns is targeted at a farm in Staffordshire that breeds guinea pigs for scientific research. Today, Johnny Abel White, who runs Save the New Church Guinea Pigs, is leading the protesters to the farm. With him is Kerry Whitburn. Sheds over there. Yeah, little turrets. The farm is owned by the Hall family. Just ask him if we can put the PA on this side. He let us last year. Talk to me. I'm the boss. Talk to me. Who are you? That's off. Who are you? That side. Who are you? Chief Inspector Mould. Okay. Can we put the PA over there? No, no why not? Both Johnny and Kerry have served prison terms for animal rights offences. At gatherings like this, others are encouraged to break the law. I go to prison, I come out. Those animals are in there, they're never coming out, and that's the difference. They want you to think, oh, I can't do it. No, I better not do that, I'll go to prison. I want to see destroyed sheds. I want to know that there's no guinea pigs in there. Go out there and do it. Forget the fear. You're fearful. Try and get over it. Not for me, for the animals. Cheers. Oh, she's like a little teddy bear. She is. Someone. Someone. Is this this is someone? It's not too difficult to comprehend, is it? But when you say someone, not something. Yeah, but it makes it sound like a person when you say. Just being respectful of its individuality. Or her. How about that? About her individuality. A she, she is a she and a mother. Shame on you! We have to Shame on you! Shame on you! Really are leaving the premises. That's so rare to see a transport. They're not so f***ing arrogant generally to drive out the animals right in front of us. We routinely abuse animals as a society. I mean, why here? Why aren't you outside abattoirs? Why aren't you outside chicken farms? <laughs> why, why guinea pigs? It's not. It's life. Remember, it's not just guinea pig life. <laughs> what did she say? Piss off. Because tactically, it's winnable. And yeah, we might have thought it was going to be a lot quicker than it has been, but that doesn't matter. So how, how long are you prepared to do this for? Forever. Seriously? Oh, absolutely. It is a raise on Detra. There's no way you'd let those animals down. Kerry Whitburn is another of the regulars. A death camp for animals! Close it down! Absolutely destroying it for me. Why? Because all this bloody Gladys thing, they're just obsessed. And it's just like this one tiny thing. You know, I know it's this huge significant thing, but like, you know, when you've got like the image of billions of animals stacked up waiting in line to be cold to test shampoo, do you know? And that's all you think about all the time. And they just bang on about everything else. It's like, can we just get some context? Yes. I feel like I'm not allowed to celebrate this. I really do. Really? Yeah, I can't. You know? Why? Because people will think that. Yeah, because it's that like. you then stole Gladys' yeah, body. Exactly. Uh, exactly. There's an element to your campaign which isn't directly lawful, isn't, isn't there? Yeah, totally. I'm not even going to pretend to try and, and, and <laughs> pretend that doesn't exist. You know, I mean, this is not the time to start bandying around excuses and saying, oh, we're just peaceful protests and we stand there at 7 o'clock from 12 till 3. It's blatantly obvious that there's an element to the animal rights movement which is not tolerating this, and they're prepared to go to these lengths to do it, yeah. you know. And this is just what people have called creative extremism, you know what I mean? And it's worked. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, obviously it's yeah, successful. Man. It's successful, but obviously... <laughs> Check that. 
Whole animal rights movement comes together to celebrate.